Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands in a Radio. Oh, we've got a good one today. I am so excited. And, and I'm just, I am still almost, I've got over my speechlessness, I think. Is speechlessness a word? I think I've gotten over it. And, and I can talk through this finally. Uh, I have been speechless, that's for sure. First, I'm going to use a word that I, I don't normally use on our channel. Um, everybody, I'll let everybody's mind horror a bit at what word I'm going to use. There is a word that I think is, is grotesquely overused. Uh, I, I think there's a word that, that has almost become cliche when somebody says it. And, and it's almost a filler word. And so anytime I say this word today, I don't want you to think that. I want you to think of what I'm really trying to say. The definition of this word is causing great surprise or wonder, astonishing, startling, and impressive. That word is amazing. That's the only word that I can think of to describe this. This is absolutely amazing. Now, I've babbled on long enough, and, and I'm sure you're all wondering what's behind door number one here. I've had a conversation with Mac, who is a subscriber on our, on the channel, and and we've started a, a conversation. He said, "Hey, I've got something I think you might be interested in. It's not brand new, and and that but that doesn't stop me." Um, but we started a conversation. He's got a lot of radios. He needs to to thin the herd out and get rid of some of the radios. He wants to give me a radio. I, I and then I'm just I'm now I'm blown away again uh, as I relive that conversation, and so anyway, without further ado, here is my my Christmas gift. We'll call it that. I'm blown away. Here it is, the Texan PL880, and here I go. What an amazing radio! This is, is unbelievable. And I know there are 20,000 videos on the Texan PL880, and I, I have no idea how I'm going to make it different than everybody else's. Uh, I don't care. I'm, I'm extremely proud of this thing. And... I really had no idea just how amazing this radio is. Uh, we've worked our way up through the Texan line, and we've seen some real gems. And, you know, we, well, I think the last we stopped at the 660. And the 660 made me wonder just what the 880 would be all about. How could it be any better? I, I've read the reviews. I've seen the videos. Uh, there's a, a big camp out there that says, oh, the 660 is better. And there's a big camp out there that says the 880 is better. Well, I'm going to go in the second camp that this, um, we'll, we'll have more than one video on this. And I've got some data that, that, uh, I mean, you can't argue with the facts. Well, I guess we can. In today's society, we, we all have our own set of facts. So I have my own set of facts. Anyway, I, I, to Mac, thank you for this. This is it, it's absolutely amazing, and the generosity behind it. I just I'm I'm absolutely floored. And so I want to publicly shout you out and and thank you for it again. Um, anyway, let's get into this thing. It is so much fun, and there's something we're going to touch on tonight that is. Absolutely. I hope it performs the same way because everything, propagation changes. I get it. And I hope it performs the same way it has the last couple of nights. And I hope you see it. Anyway, let's look at the radio quickly. Not a lot different. If you own a PL660, you can pick this up and pretty well run with it. Um, there are some hidden features to this which we'll get into in a later video. 
Um, there's some hidden features, uh, but most of it, if what, what you see on the front here outside of, I don't know how to set the clock or something, um, all of it you can you can pretty well handle. It, it's it's it was easy for me anyway. So I'm uh, uh, maybe somebody else might have trouble. I don't know. Got a great big gigantic, fantastic sounding speaker over here. Don't know how big it is. Can't really see in through that grill. Um, just overall the the it's just a it feels so good in your hands. It's just sexy to look at. And, I mean, I, yeah, it's here. Anyway, great big speaker here. We've got a nice size display. Uh, we do have a light that we can flip on and off. I don't know if you probably won't see much with all the lighting I've got going on here. And now it's off. You can turn the light on all the time. You can turn it off. It'll be automatic. Uh, a lot of different things to it. I've got it set for UTC time, so that's why it looks funny at 2314. Uh, that means something to me in the shortwave world. You've got your time and alarm buttons. It's, it does have an alarm with it. Uh, the display, we can toggle around. It's a display light. And I think when the radio is on, you can get like signal to noise ratio, clock, stuff like that up here in this corner here by just toggling display or you can lock the whole thing up if you press and long hold that button now there's some things i don't know everything about this radio so you've got to give me a little leniency if i if i say something the wrong way uh fm stereo button will be stereo in the headphones if you have your headphones on and press fm stereo you'll get stereo through the headphones not stereo through one single speaker but anyway AM bandwidth, there's, I'm still learning about that and kind of experimenting with it. And what that does is it will change the width of the band that you're listening to. It'll, it can narrow it several different steps. Then it goes back out to a wide bandwidth. Can really help if you're trying to get a, a really faint signal, you can, can, mess around with the bandwidth and try to draw it out a little better if there's if there's stuff really crowded around you can narrow it down and separate the two out uh the vm vf and vm button uh there again is is i think of vf as in your you can tune uh the radio the vm is for memory anything that's set in memory then you get in that mode and can tune through your memories then Direct entry keypad is fantastic. There's there's no extra buttons you have to hit. You press in a, a frequency and it just goes. Uh, I think of the Grundig, uh, I think it was the Grundig Satellite 800, the old tank. And you would key in a frequency and then you'd have to hit the enter button after you were done to enter it. Uh, there was like extra steps to it, and it, it once you get used to it, it's fine. But it's nice just to be able to key in a frequency, and it just drops right there. Some of the radios we've looked at, you've had to key in a frequency, and then whatever band you're on, AM, FM, or shortwave, you have to press that band again to go there. And, you know, that's okay. This is not like that. Uh, we've got AM, FM, shortwave is here. The up and down arrow will toggle up and down through the different bands. Um, or you can, if I'm remembering which direction is which, if you hold the, uh, up arrow, press it down, long press it, what I'm trying to think of, long press that, it'll scan through all the shortwave channels. And if you press the down button, it'll just scan the, the band that you're in. If you're in the 31 meter band, it'll just scan that and then that's it. So it can go really quick through those. It's quick, no matter what. Uh, same thing with AM, FM. If you press AM, you're in the AM band. If you hold the button down, it will scan and store, automatically store what it finds uh, in memory. And 
boy, we're going to hit on that. Unreal. That's not, our little spoiler alert is unreal for that. Uh, down here we've got USB upper sideband and lower sideband. And that you just toggle through. If you hit USB, you're an upper sideband, or you hit it again, you're back to normal. Very handy with single sideband work if you're listening to amateur radios and like that. I don't know. Well, it's been so... The, the conditions, band conditions, have been so horrible. I haven't heard a whole lot. Of course, it's been different times of the day and things that I haven't heard much with that, but I've played with it just a little bit. Page button, plus and minus, that just goes through the different pages. All I can say is it has several pages of memory, and each page holds so many memory spots, and this you can flip through the different pages. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Power button, of course, that's pretty obvious. The tuning wheel, tuning knob, this is a knob, this is no wheel. Fantastic feel. It's just very smooth, very nice. Uh, fine tuning, and this, we can get into this later. Uh, for those single sideband conversations, and even if you're uh, in shortwave, even if you're in AM or FM, I don't know if it works on FM that way or not. I know AM, it will also work like if you're at, it'll go 1,000, 1010, 1020, 1030. Well, then you can go with this, you can go 1031, 1032, and just try to ease into that station a little bit. You can kind of sneak up on it. So that, that's amazing. Instead of having a fast tuning and slow tuning, we've got a regular tune here and then a fine tune right there. Volume knob right there. Little reset button in case if things go crazy, you can write down right down here with my little pencil. Uh, you can stick a paper clip in and it'll kind of like reboot its brain or whatever. So let's look on the right hand side real quick. And we've got our light is auto off, which means after a few seconds it goes off. Or you can just turn it on and leave it there. We also have a bass and treble control. Very nice. Especially on FM. It's great. We do have a little kickstand. And I just, I prefer this little plexiglass stand um, over the little kickstand. Because I don't want to do anything that might break that little stand off. It does have a... Uh, lithium ion battery in here, an 18650 battery. And uh, that's it on the back side. On the left hand side, let's see if you get that in focus, we've got our shortwave antenna jack that we can plug in the big antenna. Uh, we also have our shortwave antenna gain. We can go DX for, for long. You know, long reaching, really reaching out there, sensitive. We can go normal, that's just normal. Or if we have a lot of of local, close by, powerful shortwave stations that are overcrowding each other and, and we can turn it to local and help split those out. Headphone jack, a line out, so we could actually record. We could hook this up to, wow, I started to say a tape deck. Um, you could record through that, and then we have the DC in 5 volt. It's a, oh, um, I think it's a mini USB B, I think. I don't know. There's too many different. It's not the little, little thin one, that's for sure. It's a nice, the nice, dirty mini USB port. Um, I've heard a lot of people get nervous about that. That's the only way to charge this battery. It doesn't have an AC adapter. And so far, the battery that's in it has lasted really well. Um, that just that does not concern me at all how I recharge that battery, whether it's through a computer or, you know, whatever. Uh, but I know some people get wound up about it. And uh, on the top, we've got a snooze button here for the alarm. We can always hit that and snooze the alarm. And we also have then a 38-inch antenna 
absolutely amazing. And what I like about this, and you've heard me talk on and on and on, this is recessed out to where this antenna is almost straight up. When it's in an angle with the kickstand, it's straight up and down. And actually goes just a little beyond straight. And that's just, uh, that's fantastic in my book. Uh, let's just, let's, just for giggles, unwind the antenna there and set it back up. You can see it there. Oh, you hear my picture there. So let's fire this up. I'm kind of watching the clock because I don't want to go too crazy with this. Uh, people will go to sleep after 20 minutes or so. But let's just start off and let's look at the AM medium wave AM broadcast band. And, and I hope it's, well, it's, it's not quite 6.30. That's for the alarm time, but uh, it's about 6.30 in the evening or so. Oh, I wished we could do this outside. It's like 20 degrees outside, and there's just no way. Uh, well, let's fire up the AM and, and see. Yeah, I just I hope it does what it's been doing. It's usually been a little later in the evening. And there's our local station, and that's okay. But you see where it goes 10 kilohertz steps. But then with fine tuning, we can go just a little one way or the other if we have to. Let's wheel all the way down to the beginning. Five twenty. Hopefully you can hear that. It might not be late enough in the evening. There's 650. That's uh, 650, I believe. I think it's in Detroit, maybe. I've looked up a few of them, and, and I think that's Detroit. Here's Cincinnati. This is Ontario, Canada. I do know that one. Let's go on up quickly. I don't want to bore people to death, but I do want to kind of show. See, there was two different stations right there. That's Indianapolis. Hey, well, then I got my boy Sable. To the woman who calls evil. Richmond's Morning News. There have been a couple of exceptions, but not many. Okay, I think we're coming close to the end of it. Okay, we'll tune that, turn that down. <sighs> Blows my mind on AM broadcast reception. Um, if you think that was good, it gets a lot better around 9 or 10 o'clock at night. I did the automatic search on AM, and I let it run, and it, it was very quick, boom, and it was done. It found 98 stations. So I went back through, okay, it found 98. That's That's okay, but how many are actually good what I would call good stations it found 70 that were good copyable 
stations, and it came down to 520. There was one, there was two, there was three, there was four, five, six. Almost every 10 kilohertz increments, there was something that I could copy. Absolutely unreal. I, I just I was blown away. Right there, I said, "That's that's that's worth the price of the, the entire radio." I think. Um, I've never, and I, and I own a, I own a ton of radios. I've never had one that good. And and I've spent a lot of the the last few days just on AM broadcast at night. I got up at three in the morning and thumb through on AM broadcast. It's amazing what you can hear. Nashville, Tennessee, Ontario, Canada, Detroit, Louisville. Uh, that's just the ones I can remember. Anyway, I'll quit tooting about that. But that's just, that's been the highlight so far. It, it's just, it's amazing. But let's go ahead and FM's really easy. You know what that's going to be like. It's going to sound phenomenal. I do want to look at the bass and treble on it. This Christmas, get the gift that everyone wants. Q-Mix 107.3. You can hear the difference there. It's just an amazing sound out of that speaker. One thing that that um, kind of got me about the PL660, it seems very quiet. The volume, you really have to have the volume turned up to really hear it. And I, I thought, well, maybe I'm getting old. I don't know. Uh, but I've, I've read other comments that they, they think it, the volume's a little soft for some reason. This is just, well, you, you heard that just a second ago. And uh, it's equally as, as equally as sensitive on FM, I think. There's Indianapolis. There's more Indianapolis. About 55 or 60 miles away. So, anyway, we won't, we won't get around the FM too much just because of music and copyright and all like that. I don't want... Don't want YouTube to get nervous. Um, our shortwave stuff, we start at 2300, we work our way up. Don't know what's going to be out here. We can scan through it quickly. Uh, this would be ideal. Uh, I did do a scan on this the other night. It found 27 shortwave stations. 21 were good and you could actually copy and then we can thumb through this for a long long time let's just go up to and here again you jump around it at 5 kilohertz increments when you can actually is it kilohertz or megahertz I suppose it's kilohertz and where you can actually use the fine tuning and really dial in on something. There we go. Good old brother Stair. There's seventy seven thirty. Let's just look at if this happens, how do you feed your children? How do you feed your grandchildren? Okay. 7490, let's look at you can kind of hear it there, it's in the background, WWV 10, probably the wrong time of day for 10 megahertz, let's try 15 and there again, the shortwave band conditions have really been atrocious 
And what we can do for shortwave is we can hook up the big antenna. And that's why I like that external port so well. Let's just try. Comes in a little better. You just barely hear it. Oh, there. Let's see if I pull that out and hear the difference. Yeah, I probably pulled it out the wrong time. Anyway, I just wanted to see if you could hear. Let's see if you can hear the difference this way. So it does help. kind of thumb through here what we could do is I'm brave let's uh now let's see that the up arrow is for the band I think and the down arrow is for everything okay there we go so let's just do everything really quick see if I can see if I can fill in enough here and talk through this What an amazing radio. <laughs> I'll say it again. I This thing has blown me away and, and has occupied a lot of, of, a lot of my time uh, has been spent with this one. And, and um, I just, I, so far I can't say enough good things about it. It is an amazing radio. If you... I know it's way out of our realm of of under twenty dollar radios, uh, but if you're you're looking around and and you want to get yourself a fantastic Christmas gift, or if you want to give somebody a fantastic Christmas gift, uh, boy, this is this is very very cool. And you can see already it's found fourteen stations. It would have taken us quite a while to thumb through and try to find those 15 stations. That's what I like about the automatic tuning, uh, the automatic store and search feature. That I, I'm trying to think ATS, just exactly what that's called. Automatic tuning system or something. Um, that's what I like about it. In just a couple of minutes, it, I mean, it, you sit here for, we would have sat here for a long time. And I just hopefully we can wrap this up in just a few more minutes. Uh, while this scans, I will take time and and say that if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you like the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're up way over 300 uh, subscribers now, which is amazing. I I I can't even imagine. Uh, and also, if you feel so inclined. There is a link down in the description of where you can donate to PayPal and help support the channel because all of this, uh, outside of gifts like this, all of it costs money um, to put on the channel. And what I do with those donations is I turn right around and buy more radios uh, to give you guys more content. And, uh, you know, I don't want anybody to feel obligated. I know it's the Christmas season and we're all under a lot of financial stress and burden i don't want to be a stress and a burden to anybody but if you feel inclined to do so it is more than appreciated that's for sure so we'll get our shameless plug out of the way and this thing will almost be done and you'll all be in your jammies and tucked in bed before it gets too late i promise it may be done now there it is and then it goes back to where it started We've already saw. You can hear that in the background. I don't know why I like to listen to that. I used to like to listen to that as a kid. And it was the only thing I understood was 5, 10, 15, and 20. And 25, I could listen to the time. <laughs> Will it be 
We'll just thumb through quickly because I know we're getting up to the 30 minute mark. Can't remember how many stations it found. Oh, there we go. My favorite, my favorite station, my favorite program. The voice of the report of the week. I find him on YouTube and find him on, he has a shortwave program. Amazing to listen to. Uh, it's just a light entertainment. He has conversation, music. Uh, shameless plug for my friend John. We'll move on. And also keep in mind if we gloss over one just like this, by the time we've gotten up this far, that propagation could have changed, just drifted a bit to where it's not there anymore. And we're back. So it found 28 stations. We couldn't have thumbed through that quick. But that's just a, a fast overview of, of just one of the finest radios, finest portable radios. Yeah, there are crazy expensive radios out there. Um, but in, in the portable range, maybe that's where I need to change my, 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 I don't know, topic or whatever you want to call it to, to portable radios. And, uh, this is one of the finest ones I've ever run across. What an amazing radio. And you saw that, that medium wave just, and that's what I want to do. The next video is let's compare these and, and just get down even deeper with it. And, um, anyway, I'll leave it at that one now because I've really gone long now. Everybody's asleep. And uh, well, that's okay. Hey, if you're relaxed and peaceful, that's what I want. Something relaxed and peaceful. Uh, there is no, there's no script. There can't be any script. There can't be any outlines because a lot of these I've never even seen before out of the box. Uh, so I can't really, uh, everything that, that I do is just off the cuff. I don't know what it is. I uh, don't know what's coming next, but there's no script, uh, no outline, no pyrotechnics, no theatrics. What I like to do, as I think of it, is we're all just sitting in some lawn chairs, having some lemonade or whatever beverage you want to have, and we just talk about radios, and we just have fun. And I think we live in a world that's too critical anymore, and I think we live in a world that doesn't, doesn't slow down to have fun. And that's what I try to do here is I try to slow everything down just so we have some fun. And uh, anyway, with all that said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this. And we're going to see you at the next review.